Alrighty, so it is week 14 in CIT 95 Python, and I was a big loser. I forgot to record week 13, which, you know, happens. I'm human. It sometimes slips away, and it did. So I'm going to cover the topics that I was going to cover in 13 and what I'm going to cover in 14. So the most, most important thing I'm going to talk about today, okay, everything's important. But it's going to be the end of the semester because we are quickly approaching at this point in the RL, in the real world, spring break. Now, I don't have any work that has to be done for this class over spring break, but I do want to release content for you to work on if you choose to. So because in the real world, this is actually the week before break, my hope is to have 14 and have 15 released soon after we start into break because I use spring break to try to get the rest of the content for the class done. Um, so that would, and we're quickly, you know, approaching the uh, the end because after we get back 15 16 17 and really your dev 2 which is also most important i'm going to talk about today is going to be due the friday uh, the thursday of week 17. so let me go over the schedule and then talk about some of the the topics for this week and last but okay all right so first let's look at the calendar so here we are like i said in the real world uh, where i'm recording my real world but if i roll forward until may your dev 2 is going to be due here at week 17 and a thursday night now what's going to happen is this code review schedule is going to go real quick because it's going to be sessions on friday okay which i will have probably the schedule also released over spring break or right at the end and then we're going to have many sessions on Monday and Tuesday, but these are going to be the only two, three, there'll be three days after the due date to get all the code review sessions done. Now, of course, you have code review or times you can sign up. So I'll have sessions starting the 9th, running all the way through to the due date, and then on Monday and Tuesday, but they have to be done. The last one will be on the 17th. Um, probably sometime uh, early evening. So anyway, I'll have that schedule out. You can look for that, okay? Now, having said that, the process is pretty much the same, but the requirements, of course, are different. And we'll look at those. Matter of fact, um, let's just go ahead and take a look at those right now before we come back here, because I believe I have talked about them. I think I showed them right after the last dev, but in this case, right, you're gonna take your dev uh, one, right, and convert it into OOP, right, writing classes. And you need definitely more than one, right? Uh, at least, I would say, I ended up, I think, with four, but at least two or three uh, in this case, right? Um, some part of the user interface has to be in Turtle, okay? So first, and we're learning, tur we're learning OOP, OOP pro programming, the process, through learning uh, how to implement Turtle. But along the way, and this week is a really great week for this, because I would say this week is really where you have a starting point to look at implementing your Dev 2. Okay. Now I do give some other content here, right? If you choose a different topic, uh, make sure it meets the requirements, right? It needs, and I say here, two classes. So I would say, you know, at minimum, but I would say probably when you do this, you'll need more. But, you know, talk to me if you want to know. But if, and also the third party uh, library VENV is still a requirement, uh, it has to be PEP 8 compliant. Now, I have been working at least with one student on this, on this requirement for doing the EV in Windows, uh, the virtual environment. So I'm hoping to have a video on that just for the Windows side here pretty soon, because I know that when you're running Windows, you need something a little different. Okay, not a lot different. It's really just the way you activate uh, is a little different. Okay, so again, I've given you these. I think I updated it a little bit, but that's what the requirements are. So now moving back to week 14, in addition to the video you're watching now, you're going to have another video from me last semester. So I know this can be a little confusing, but last semester I was teaching this class in nine weeks instead of 18 like here. So in their week eight, I was finished with my, or pretty much almost done with my Dev2 progress. So I gave them an update here uh, on that. And you're, 
I mean, at this point, I would definitely recommend checking out what I did with my dev one. Uh, you can see I use Turtle for getting the user input, and then I use Turtle for generating a graph, but I converted all of my dev one, except for the writing to a JSON file. I ended up stripping that out, which I may revisit to figure that out this time. Anyway, check that out. See if it's helpful to get you started. But the other thing I would say is if over break you are also wanting to be ambitious, it would be a fine time to start looking at what you're going to do for um, your dev too. Okay. So just know the major requirements. It has to be in classes, implemented in classes. Um, you do still have a main. And you see this clearly uh, in our work for this week. Okay. So that kind of leads me in to the work. So let me move over to VS Code real quick. So here's uh, day 20 and day 21. It's one of, I really like this week because we get to start the get the snake, and I and by the way, I really like this. <laughs> this game was really fun to program. So, uh, but you can see that by so you begin it on twenty, you end it on twenty one. You add all the functionality, the scoreboard, uh, the whole thing, and it's just really fun to see it come together. The one caveat I know I ran into a couple of times when I was writing this, and this just happens, is if you happen to have like a class open and you try to run it, it won't run. And just know that you have to go back, right? You have to go back and run uh, from main. So you might run into that. That might be something that happens, okay? But it is a really fun game to play with and to get done. And, and again, I really think it's great that it drives home these concepts of how to write and implement classes. And that's really uh, what I've said you need in order to do Dev2, okay? All right, so that was my little hint there uh, for running, just run into that. And also, especially when on day 20, when you're uh, writing some of the code, you it may look like it's broken. So just know if for some reason your, your uh, screen for turtle doesn't open, you may have to go back to the console and just stop the code by doing a control C. Okay. So I know I've covered a lot uh, in this particular video, but I hope that was helpful to give you an idea about, you know, kind of the end of the semester task, that timeline at the end. Again, if it was me, if I was in this class, I would actually try to be thinking about if I was working over uh, spring break. If not, as soon as you get back, uh, because we don't have a lot of days left. Actually, that was the other thing I was going to show you. We finished 24 days in this class, meaning 24 days of the course. So after we get back from break, uh, we have 22 and a learn together, and then we have two more days, and that's it, right? So uh, it kind of, I think it's always in the spring semester, it feels like after break, things just kind of quickly turn, and it feels like, wow, we're done. Okay, so, you know, and by the way, again, this is why I don't give work over break, but I always like to give the flexibility that if you want to work ahead, you can. So that is my plan as well, um, you know. Anyway, thanks, and again, sorry for week 13, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.